What's up? This is Al from It's Androids Worlds here, and today I'm going to be doing my first review of the T-Mobile G1. Now, like I said, I'm going to be going insanely in-depth with everything that comes on the phone. So this first video is going to be a review of the boot screen, the entire setup process of the Android experience, and the lock screen review. And I'm going to review them and going in-depth with all those three things. But this is going to be on from our RC29 or 33, whichever one you want to think it is. <laughs> And um, it's going to be Android OS 1.0. And I'm doing this because I'm going to have full reviews of every Android OS that the G1 officially has. I'm going to go into some other tutorials with that and all the rooted stuff that I promised that I would do. This channel is going to be more than just ROM reviews like it was before. And I really want to go super in-depth with it. So um, this is my very first video on the T-Mobile G1. It's my first review on it. Hope you guys are excited. And let's get to it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started and we'll turn on the phone by holding down this end call key right here. And the first thing you'll notice is that the phone will say T-Mobile G1. Of course, this phone is on the T-Mobile network, hence the T-Mobile branding right there. And this is called the G1, so it makes sense that the phone would have a big G1 logo there. So um, I do have two other videos on the phone itself. One is the unboxing, one is the advanced hardware review. I'll see if I can try to link to those at the end here. But I'm just going to go in depth and show you guys the boot screen. So here's the actual logo that you get. I'll just get a little closer here and just show you guys. Um, there's a little flashing Android guy, which is pretty cool. And then right there you got the word Android in white. And here is the actual um, setup screen. So it's very simplistic. You got your notification bar visible. Um, you got the clock, battery, and signal strength. And pretty soon I'll get a 3G logo there. So it says, Welcome to T-Mobile G1. Touch the Android to begin. If I'm in an emergency and I just got my phone, I can tap that and do an emergency phone call, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to touch the Android real quick, and it says setting up your T-Mobile G1. So it says it's easy to get your um, to set up your phone. All you need is a Google account, and it says why use a Google account. And it's because um, with a Google account, your contacts, calendar, email are all atom, um, automatically synced between your phone and your computer, regardless of when you make an update. And if I already have a Google account, I can simply sign in. If I don't have one, I can set it up right from here. So again, you can emergency dial. I'll just go ahead and click next. And it says setting up your T-Mobile G1. If I don't have an account, I can create one. If I already have an account, I can sign in. So go to sign in. And since this is such an early firmware, there's not even an on-screen keyboard. So I got to slide open my phone. And now I got to type in my email address. And when you sign in, it'll say signing in. Your phone is communicating with Google servers and setting up. So here we are, and now it says on um, my date and time settings. So I can do automatic time. I can set the date, um, which I don't need to do because it got it correct. I'm just going to go to my time zone and hit Pacific time just to make sure it's correct. And um, I can do my date format as well, which I like to be this one right here. And just hit OK and go next. And now it says your Google account is now linked to this phone. So my contacts, calendar events, and email are downloading now. There will be a syncing icon that pops up soon, and when it disappears, it's all done. And then it tells me a little bit about the notification bar. So I'll just go ahead and hit finish setup, and that's the entire setup screen of the T-Mobile G1. So now I'll go ahead and get into the lock screen review. This is very simplistic. Again, you got your visible notification bar pretty much like everywhere on Android. Um, you got your, again, your clock, your battery, your signal strength, if connected to 3G or 2G or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and there's my syncing icon right there. And you'll see my notifications right there because I have a text message. Other than that, um, since this is very early firmware, again, we have no images here. It's just a black lock screen. And there we got this little box right here. And it lets us know our service provider, which is T-Mobile, the time, the date, and if the screen is locked. And it says to press menu to unlock. So I can also tap menu to unlock. I'll go ahead and show you guys the last thing about the lock screen, which is the security. So security and location. And what Android does is actually require you to have a pattern for an unlock. So I can set an unlock pattern, so I'll go next. And um, example, it shows me what to do. And I can connect at least four dots at the minimum. So if I just want it to be that, or I can't do that, I'll do that. It says patterns recorded. So hit continue, so i got to draw it again to make sure that I remember it. And then hit continue. And now I can require pattern. So if I lock the screen by hitting the end call key and unlock it, now i got to draw that pattern in to actually get into it. But another cool thing is maybe you don't want to show people your, actually, your actual pattern. So you can hit use visible pattern and turn that off 
and now when you lock your screen again and go back into it now when you draw it people won't see what it is really nice feature the lock screen is great definitely gets more intuitive as android progresses thanks for watching my first review of the t-mobile g1 guys trust me there will be many many more videos to come and i will indeed get into the rooted stuff as soon as possible. Alright guys, so thanks for watching my first review of the T-Mobile G1. There's going to be a multi-part review guys, it's going to all come and I promise I will get into the rooted stuff soon because I know most of you guys subscribe to me for that. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you rate this video a thumbs up or favorite the video as it really does help me get to a YouTube partnership which is my super goal on this YouTube channel. And um, make sure you guys leave a comment letting me know if you think Android 1.0 from what you saw looks a little dull, a little stale. And if you can change one feature about any of the things I reviewed, I know I've kind of done this question before, but um, let me know what that one feature you would change is. Would you change or add something to the lock screen? Would you change the boot screen right from the jump? Let me know what you would do. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.